Top 10 Largest and Most Dangerous Theropods of the Dinosaur Age Among all representatives of the dinosaur age, theropods stand out as the most recognizable and widespread group of lizards. Among the representatives of this type of dinosaurs, there are a wide variety of species from the smallest and unknown to the rulers of the animal world of their time. It is about the latter that we will talk in more detail today. Subscribers of our channel have the opportunity to comment on the videos they watch, expressing their opinions about the topics we are considering. Also, by subscribing to the Dinosaur Age channel, you will be the first to know about the releases of new videos. And if you want to help promote this video by platform search algorithms, then you can do so by liking it. Theropods are lizard dinosaurs. They are considered the most developed group of prehistoric pangolins from an evolutionary point of view and the ancestors of modern birds. Their name can be translated as animal footed. The theropods were named so for their three toed clawed paws, reminiscent of the paws of modern animals. Among the representatives of this group, there were not only predators, but also herbivorous lizards. But Throughout all periods of the dinosaur era, there were species that dominated and terrified other animals. We present you the top largest and most dangerous theropods. Cacarodontosaurus Literally, the name of this dinosaur, which lived in the Cretaceous period about 100 million years ago, is translated as lizard with shark teeth. The first descriptions of Carcharodontosaurus were made from a pair of teeth found in the 1920s in Algeria. Later, many more remains of this large theropod were discovered in North Africa. Based on these findings, scientists concluded that these lizards could reach to a length of up to 12.8 meters and a height of 4 meters. The skull with 20 centimeter serrated teeth had a length of up to 1.6 meters. In its structure, the Carcharodontosaurus is very similar to the Gigantosaurus and Allosaurus. Therefore, scientists, as new data appeared, either singled it out into a separate family or ranked it as one of these families. It is also likely that the Allosaurus could have been an ancestor. Seraphidogonex According to the scattered remains found in the United States in the early 30s of the 20th century, scientists restored the approximate dimensions of this lizard. This new species of dinosaurs had a body length of up to 13 meters and a height of up to 4. Seraphinogonex weighed up to about 4.5 tons. Some researchers even attributed it to a particularly large species of allosaurs. Scientists have now discovered and examined the scattered remains of four poorly preserved animals. It is reliably known that they lived about 150 to 155 million years ago on the territory of the Northern American continent. Mapusaurus The length of the largest of the discovered skeletons of Mapusaurus is just under 11 meters and the height is about 4 meters. But many scientists say that these theropods could reach much larger sizes. Mapusaurus lived on the territory of modern Argentina approximately 93 to 99 million years ago. This area at the time was covered with sparse forests and grassy plains. In such conditions, it is easier to get food as part of a well-coordinated hunting group. The remains of Mapusaurus found together just confirm this assumption for scientists. Therefore, despite their smaller size, compared to some other theropods, they could well prey on such large representatives of the dinosaur era as Argentinosaurs. Deltadromius The remains of this large but rather light theropod were discovered in Egypt and Morocco at the beginning of the last century. Moreover, some of the bones were described as the remains of different species. With a height of 2.5 meters and a body length of 8 to 13 meters, their weight did not exceed 2 tons. The Deltadromus lived at the same time and in the same territory as Spinosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus. 
Therefore, they had to solve the issue of competition by choosing different prey and developing their own methods of hunting. Deltadramius became an active predator and presumably preyed on young herbivorous dinosaurs. To do this, he acquired fast and powerful hind legs as well as a developed shoulder girdle. There is practically no reliable information about the structure of the skull of this predatory theropod. At the moment, researchers only have samples of a few teeth. Carnotaurus In 1984, an expedition organized by the National Geographic Society of Argentina discovered an almost completely preserved skeleton of a new large theropod. This species was called Carnotaurus, which means carnivorous bull. This name was given to the dinosaur for the bony outgrowths on its head, similar to horns. Recent studies have shown that the length of the Carnotaurus is unlikely to exceed 8 meters and growth 2.7 meters. This theropod weighed about 2 tons. Carnotaurus lived in the woodlands of the Cretaceous period about 70 to 72 million years ago. Allosaurus This large lizard dinosaur, discovered in the United States in the second half of the 19th century, was the first species to be classified as a theropod. This discovery provoked a wide interest in the scientific community in the subsequent excavations in Colorado and Wyoming. Here, over several decades of excavations, many bones of dinosaurs of various types have been discovered. The Allosaurus itself, whose name can be translated as another lizard, lived in the Jurassic period about 155 to 155 million years ago. It was a real giant, up to 4 meters tall and up to 10, possibly 13 meters long. The Allosaurus weighed no more than 2.5 tons with its impressive size. Tarbosaurus Theropods reigned not only in Europe, Africa, and America. On the territory of modern China and Mongolia in the late Cretaceous period, about 70 million years ago, such a lizard lived as the Tarbosaurus. It could reach 12 meters in length and weighed up to 5 tons. It was discovered by a joint Soviet-Mongolian expedition in the late 40s of the 20th century. The largest known Tarbosaurus skull measures 1.3 meters in size. This Asian theropod is second only to the Tyrannosaurus rex. Giganotosaurus In the late 80s of the last century, a fragment of the lower jaw with several preserved teeth was discovered in Argentina. This fragment was larger than similar bones of many known theropods and was described as the remains of a yet unknown species. A few years later, a well-preserved tibia was found, and with a radius of 10 meters from it, other samples were found. Based on the collective bones, scientists have restored the appearance of a dinosaur called the giant southern lizard. Initial assumptions spoke of the length of its skull at 1.8 to 1.95 meters. But it later turned out that the skull of the Giganotosaurus did not exceed 1.6 meters and the total body length averaged more than 12.5 meters. The weight of the Giganotosaurus was about 7 to 8 tons and the growth was up to 4 meters. These monsters lived in South America about 100 million years ago. Spinosaurus Spinosaurus is the largest predator in the history of the Earth. At the same time, its parameters, appearance, and habits have remained a mystery over the past 100 years. During the study of the species, various versions on this score have been put forward many times. This fish-eating dinosaur lived in North Africa 95 to 110 million years ago. Its length was almost 15 meters and its height was 6 meters. Spinosaurus weighed from 5 to 7.5 tons. Its main distinguishing features are an elongated, crocodile-like mouth and a crest on its back. On the purpose and appearance of this crest, disputes among the scientists have not subsided so far. Tyrannosaurus Rex 
and our rating of the largest and most terrible predators is completed not only by the most famous theropod, but also by the most popular species among all dinosaurs. It was the T-Rex that was assigned the role of the main monster in many Hollywood films and cartoons about dinosaurs. By the way, he deserved this role. Recent studies say that tyrannosaurs could grow up to 13 meters in length and weigh up to 9 tons. It was probably the most dangerous predator of the Cretaceous period, which lived in North America and probably Eastern Siberia. Scientists have not fully decided how the T-Rex hunted after all, but one thing is for sure, those whom he attacked had practically no chance of salvation. His main weapons were powerful jaws, which, thanks to a short neck and strong muscles, were able to bite through any bones and leave monstrous wounds. Perhaps if the dinosaurs didn't disappear over time, such large predators would cease to exist. But we can safely say that the evolution of the ancestors of modern birds could have gone completely wrong. And now, perhaps, the descendants of large predatory theropods would still be ruling the Earth. Thanks to our viewers who watched to the end of this video. You can learn more about some of the species described in it as well as other interesting facts about the evolution of life on the planet from our other videos on our channel.